Hello everybody, today let's talk about one of the common problems that HPMV customers encounter, the defective inch, and what you should do if you already bought the product. Then the hinge, as you know, is the most critical part in this specific laptop because it can convert into a tablet mode. But the design of those inch are very weak. You can see here the diameter of the holes in the inch metallic plate are too big compared to the diameter of the P1 Phillips screw head. The second point is the thickness of P1 Phillips screw head are too thin to support the force of the hinge metallic plate. You can see here on the picture that the, the thickness between the two are very different. Normally, uh, the, the screw should be uh, stronger than the plate, which is not the case here. The third point is the thread of the P1 Phillips screw is too short to support the thickness of the inch metallic plate and therefore the force of the plate. What is the result of it? Is that the P1 screw, screw come out, release the hinge, and then the metallic plate come out by breaking the screen, as you can see here in the picture. The damage is really a premium damage. Then, what are the HP responsibility? We saw that this uh, problem occurs since, since at least 2018 in the previous HP MV series. Today, in July 2022, HP MV used the design release in 2020. This model has still the same defective connection. It is documented on the internet that this problem also appears in other HP brands such as Pavilion and Spectre series. HP acknowledges that there is a manufacturing defect with the hinge. It's already four years that HP doesn't correct the design. HP continues to sell defective products and don't recall sold products. Worse, when you call them, HP doesn't provide any support if your warranty has already expired. Even it is a manufacturing defect from their side. Then, what is my personal case? I use HP since July 2020, mostly every day. I never drop it, I never have any accident, and it's mostly always on my desk. When I use it outside, it is inside this protective case that I bought specially for my travel. As my laptop is on a stand to have the screen in front of my eyes, I use a secondary keyboard. Then I mostly not touch this laptop, only to open it and to close it every day, mostly once or twice a day. Few times I convert it into a tablet mode, but it's really rare. Oh, mostly 50 times maybe over the last uh, two years. The hinge broke after approximately 720 days, which means the total movement that the hinge has to support during that period is around let's say 3005 movement before the hinge broke, which is absolutely nothing. And it shows that this laptop is very weak. Usually, just for your information, I change laptop every six years. Here, after two years, even less than two years, my laptop broke. What are my advice now? Okay, obviously, I will not recommend you to buy this laptop. I will strongly recommend you to not buy HP MV X360. In the same time, I will go further. Do not buy any HP laptop. Why, you will tell me? <laughs> the defective hinge connection in MV seems to be in different HP laptop brands such as Pavilion and Sprite, as I told you before. The second point is the problem appears since at least four years. They didn't yet fix it. HP continue to sell product with this defective hinge and they don't provide correct support to recall the product. And if your warranty has expired, our HP support service will not help you. Even if I could tell you, I have a lot of issue with them. Them. them now. What should you do if you own already an HP and VX360? <laughs> That's a good question. I think the best one is to verify your TMF condition uh, of the seller. The seller is the shop where you bought the laptop. Maybe you can still return it and get a refund. I think that's the best solution at my point, if you have this kind of possibility. The second point, verify the HP warranty expiration date. Ah. Or to do that, you go into your uh, laptop, you open HP support assistant in Windows, 
on the da on my dashboard you will see a panel device half in which the expiration date is indicated. The third point is if the HP warranty has not yet expired, I really advise you to extend the HP warranty as much as you can. Of course, it comes with a cost that you have to bear yourself. But let's make it clear. It will be less costly to extend the warranty than repairing your laptop later on. Because I think there is a high probability that this connection of the hinge will break and then maybe will break your screen as well. The number four is to verify the seller warranty, if you have so. Some shops provide extended warranty. Verify what the seller warranty covers. For example, in my case, to come back to it, uh, they agree to replace the hinge, but for the screen, I must pay for it. The, the most expensive expense, I have to bear it. Even if the screen scratches, is due to the hinges. That's uh, incredible, but it's the case. The number five is, you are not covered by any warranty anymore, call HP, call them, until they fix your damage at no cost. They are expecting you to give up, but continue to push, please. Push, 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 until they give up and take responsibility of their defective product. Now, what if HP doesn't take responsibility? <laughs> it could be uh, the case, because it's my case actually, and no solution has been found up to now. Please, don't give up. This is the most important. Don't give up. Continue fighting. It will come. Then post the issue on HP website, on social media, and on YouTube, as I'm doing now. Many customers will find it. Potential customers who want to buy this laptop will ask a question, answer the question. Do everything to make the situation change in your favor. Third, it's, I think, the most interesting point. Contact the third party, the supplier, such as Microsoft, AMD, Intel, and others. Because all those major suppliers of hardware and software are directly impacted by the poor quality of HP product. Indeed, customers are highly disappointed by HP may switch from Windows operating system to Mac operating system. Therefore, it will impact the sale of Microsoft as well AMD and Intel. Them. Maybe Microsoft and others may take action over HP and push HP to fix the problem for you. I don't know, maybe it's a dream, but let's do that. We can do that. We can make them change this HP product and HP to take responsibility. Them. I do believe, in conclusion, that all together we can push HP to take responsibility of their defective product. I would like to thank you. And I hope you don't, don't encounter those kind of product, those kind of issue anytime soon. And uh, you have no problem with it. Have a nice day.